What's up guys, it's Devin from 541 Fisherman at you today. I am going to be doing a review on my channel. This is the first review that I will be doing. It's going to be on a product that I bought about a week and a half ago, and I've used them about 15 times. Just a brief disclaimer, I am not affiliated, nor am I sponsored by Steelhead Gear. I just love everything they have. One of my hoodies that I bought from them, bought about five years ago, it still looks like I bought it brand new from them. I have a couple sweatshirts, so I have like 10 hats. Um, I have a couple face masks. Everything that they make is quality gear. Make sure you guys check them out. I will be dropping a link down below in the description. I'll, it's h and Outfitters, but I'll have a link. Go ahead and check it out. They are the Corkers Terror Ridge Steelhead Collaboration Wading Boots. They are retail for $199. They definitely are worth the money, but I will get more into that. Well, guys, here is a brief overview of the boot. I guess the first thing that we'll start off with is the front of the boot. The first main detail that I really like about these is they have the protected stitching. I What I'm going to assume is the protected stitching is it is actually ingrained. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. It is actually indented down into the boot. So essentially when you're hitting rocks or anything, you're going down the river, you know, you're wading, going out and adventuring, you do not hit that stitching, which on a lot of wader boots, you'll hit that and this whole toe will rip off and it'll come apart. The front of the boot has the non-marking rubber. So if you're walking in your house and you accidentally kick the floor and your wife sees that you made a black scuff, well, these boots will not do that. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how the lacing works. So I really like how the lacing goes through the actual part of the shoe. You can see that it has really nice, I guess, I don't even know what they call that, but the holes where the laces go through it is very secure. All this stitching that goes up the shoe near the lacing area is very secure. These boots have what they call the heel lock. So when you cinch the lace, essentially it will snug this down, which this strap goes all the way across the entire boot, and it pulls your foot into what they call the heel lock, which this material inside the boot is kind of a, it's a velcro material. And so when your waiter is in the back of it and that cinches down to the top of your foot, it pushes it against the back of the boot, which causes your waiter to not slide up and down your foot. As we get here to the back of the boot, it has a very nice strap to put your finger in to help you with assisting and getting the shoe on and off. You can tell there's quite a bit of stitching there, so you could probably pull pretty hard on this and it would not rip. These boots do have the removable bottoms, which is very handy because in a lot of rivers in the, you know, Oregon, Washington, uh, British Columbia area, you are not allowed to stay have felt bottoms and you have to run rubber bottoms just because that's the law. On the boot right now, I currently have the felt with the studs on the bottom. I have worn these boots quite a few times. I believe it's been about 15 times and the studs look like they did as the boot came out of the box. They, none of them, as you can see, have worn it all. And the only rivers that I fish at the moment are pretty much all, you know, bedrock where I'm standing. So that just shows you guys that when I'm walking on that much bedrock and I weigh about 210 pounds, it does not affect the studs, which is a good thing because then you don't got to go buy new bottoms. When I bought these boots from Caddis, they came with this extra set of rubber bottoms. Um, I have not used them yet. Uh, from my past experiences, I don't like to use rubber bottoms just because I'm clumsy and I fall a lot, but they're coming handy for maybe some people don't like walking on their felt, you know, say they walk down a lot more muddy trails. These come in handy because they have super good grip. And from what I can tell, this plastic on the bottom of the boot, or I guess the replacement bottoms, it it's, I mean, it's thick. You can tell it's good quality material. All right, guys, that is what I'm going to have for you guys on the review today. I honestly would compare these boots ranked up pretty high with pretty much everything else. Um, I mean, honestly, you know, the $400 Sims boots that you can buy, pretty much the nicest ones. I've compared those to these when I was in the store looking at buying both pairs. I, I honestly would give these a good solid, you know, 9 out of 10. Good price range for the boot. You know, they're very, they seem very durable. I, I haven't really noticed, honestly, any wear and tear besides, you know, you can see some scratching there, but that's because I walk through a lot of blackberries you know a lot of people give these companies really bad reps because they put their names on other people's products but i can tell you that steelhead gear would not put their name on something 
unless they thought it was a good product. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you thought it was cool, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and drop down there, subscribe. Like I said, I will have a link to their h, h Outfitters page in the description so you guys can check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.